All right, morning, Friday morning, push day. I took yesterday off because I had just finished an 85 hour fast and I was feeling rather weak and not feeling really good. So I decided to let my body rest for a day and get back into my eating cycle. So during my 85 hour fast, I started the weight at 219. And when I stepped on the scale, when I finished, I was 206. So I was really quite shocked about the amount of weight I had lost in 85 hours. So feeling better today a lot more stronger. I got some food I basically grazed all day long, broke my fast, and then slowly worked up to eating uh, a bunch of meat at the end of the day. Um, so back on my normal schedule, and uh, we're back to the workouts today. So push day, let's get going. All right, buddy. Oh. <sighs> 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 30 total. And once I hit about 16, really slowed that eccentric back in, just keeping that tension as long as I can, maybe about five seconds long all the way in and pushing out as hard as I can and then coming in slow, really keeping that tension hard. Oh. 
16 with a big hyperplasia stretch at the end and really on that band pull my arms back and spread that chest wide That was most painful. That bar being a little bit wider gives you the instability. Once you get up high, it really rocks a lot, using a lot more of those stabilizer muscles to stabilize it, which is awesome. Oh. Oh. 
Oh my god. Oh. 20 total. Like I said, on that eccentric, when you're coming back in, slow and hold that tension like a like a negative rep in the gym. If you were doing skull crushers and you had too much weight and your buddy was lifting it up for you and then you were just holding that as long as you can to come down a negative. Basically, that's what I'm trying to concentrate on, just a negative. Get it out to the top, come back as slow as I can. Negative, as long as I can get that full range. Negative, as long as I can. Once I start getting to half range, then it's just burn it out as hard as I can. Uh, it's 15 with both legs. I think I'm still feeling little effects of the fast. Energy is still not 100%, but it's time to get back to it. Whew. That was eight hack squats with the long bar with the light gray band and just trying to finish it off and basically collapse on the last one all right 
that's it for today's push workout. Like I said, I did a 85 hour fast and it was a water fast and I did drink some black coffee in that time, but the water was sparingly. It was only like when I was a little thirsty, I needed a couple sips. I did take my forage in during that time. I would take two scoops in the morning with about eight ounces of water. And then around four or five o'clock in the evening, I would take two more scoops of my fortage in with eight ounces of water. And then in between all those times, I would just drink a couple sips of water <clears throat> if I needed it. I did do a couple coffees during the day, just to keep the energy going. And on Wednesday, I was feeling, whoo, feeling down, still powered through it. I went out and I played some disc golf uh, in the evening and it was hot out here. So I was dehydrated and I went out and played 18, 18 holes with a friend and I shot pretty good. I was getting, I could feel my energy lagging as I was throwing. Um, when I would bend down to pick up the disc, I was getting a little lightheaded just from bending over. So I knew I was really getting dehydrated at that point. So when I got home, I made up some snake water, uh, sodium, potassium, and I drank that down to re-energize my body with uh, uh, the essential that I needed. I was out of salt and everything. So the next day on Thursday, I broke my fast, I don't know, mid morning, somewhere around there sometime. Uh, I took some forage in and then I went and got some bone broth, had some bone broth. And about an hour later, I had some, um, some sauerkraut and some sour cream, get my stomach going again. And about an hour later, I had some scrambled eggs with some cheese on it. That got going and then we went out and had dinner and I had some steaks. So that's where I'm at and I am getting my body back into eating again. Energy is full. And like I said, when I stepped on the scale when I started this on Sunday, I was 219. So right before I broke my fast and drank my fortage in on Thursday morning, I stepped on the scale and I was totally blown away. The first time I stepped on it, it said 204. And I was like, what? And I stepped off of it. And then I stepped back on it again, and then it leveled out and it said 206. And I stepped off and onto it like three more times, and every time it came up at 206. So that was a 13 pound loss in those 85 hours. As you can see, a little poochie is going away down here, working on that. Slimmed up quite a bit. Sides are coming in, losing this now, starting to work on this. So those, those fasts, those uh, dry fast and fasting, I will be doing those every two weeks now. Um, I have a schedule set up that coincides with my wife's uh, medical treatments. So while she's having her treatments, I will be fasting uh, during that time. So I've got a schedule set up and the rest of the time it will be OMAD, one meal of the day, um, no alcohol, nothing. Maybe on the weekends when we play some disc golf or we're going to go camping and stuff. We are going camping in a couple weeks. Like I said, I want to look good when I walk out there to the pool. I look like some old fat guy. I look like a good looking retired guy. So that's what I did over the past couple days. So I was working out while I was fasted, except for obviously yesterday because I was totally burned out. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I did my workouts and my energy was starting to lag, but I still had energy left over. But come Thursday, I was just depleted. Um, I was trying to do a 96 hour fast. I was trying to go all the way into, into Friday. I don't know if I would have made it. 85 hours I think was good enough for me at this point. So I think I'll probably do some 48 hour dry fast next week and we'll see how we do with the 48 hour dry fast. So I got mine done. I'm going to live my life. You do the same. I'll see you tomorrow because I didn't work out yesterday. I'm going to do tomorrow pull day for the last day of the week. See you tomorrow. All right, last one. Whew. All right, that was 10.
stomach vacuums after I finished my X3. Every day you do your X3, do your 10 stomach vacuums, 20 seconds each, and you'll start seeing that stomach coming in, tightening up, and your core get a lot stronger. It's already stronger with the X3. It'll get stronger doing transverse abdominus stomach vacuums.